Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for end of day session, the uh, Tuesday, 6th of June 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and Market Updates from leading providers at Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of stats for the day, you have the German DAX down quite significantly today, certainly down almost a percentage point, uh, certainly being hurt by this one stronger euro. Also, in terms of European data, the uh, PMI. Uh, data certainly came in on the slightly on the weaker side. Uh, your European May retail services PMIs all came in on the slightly weaker side. In terms of the uh, consumer confidence numbers, so consumer confidence numbers certainly were on the uh, on the higher side. In terms of the FTSE down, uh, well, actually down more or less flat at present. You have the FTSE uh, at 7525 finishing flat, although it was down at 7500 initially on the back of concerns with regards to Qatar. Uh, certainly uh, the dispute with regards to Saudi uh, and uh, in terms of the uh, threat to the potential OPEC uh, agreement and therefore oil prices certainly moving lower as well so certainly coming under pressure and that's obviously testing the $47 level if I bring up the chart of oil you'll see that we tested the $47 level until we bounced given the fact that the uh, Iraqis basically stated that they would not uh, form this so-called uh, uh, a disagreement okay they certainly would not uh, uh, or should we say um, it's a form of uh, punishing uh, Qatar to a large extent and they would certainly be not certainly not be part of it okay the Russians certainly played down the uh, the threat of the OPEC agreement coming into uh, disrepute so again um, something to consider you certainly have a base being built now at $47 on the price of oil the next potential resistance on oil is now seen at around 48.4 uh, and around 49 so watch out for those two resistance zones you have this uh, falling contracting type wedge certainly a potential for a breakout here is, is highly possible okay uh, bear with me one second let me just increase the volume so that you can actually hear me properly okay here we go okay then so that certainly is a status quo present in terms of uh, oil now in terms of economic data today uh, we uh, well, first of all Asian markets uh, you're the Nikkei down uh, the uh, Chinese market certainly uh, stroke positive stroke uh, flat uh, in terms of economic data you had a retail sales for the UK certainly coming on the weaker side okay Eurozone Centix investor confidence on the stronger side retail sales on the weaker side European uh, US Red Book certainly coming in on the stronger side we had GDT uh, dairy auction for New Zealand again certainly is a an insight into potential global growth coming in on the weaker side uh, US jolts and uh, economic optimism certainly both coming on the stronger side so again uh, we are looking forward to the API weekly data now at half past nine and we'll see exactly how the markets react then but for now at this current juncture uh, it certainly seems that you have stronger US data certainly helping the uh, the actual equity market to a large extent uh, your US equity should I say and certainly remaining uh, immune to the uh, European market sell-off uh, again German DAX certainly coming under pressure on the back of obviously disagreement with uh, with uh, the US okay potential threat there and also a stronger uh, the US dollar certainly falling and a stronger euro now if I bring up the euro itself you can see the daily chart euro still powering higher you have the 60 minute chart now coming into potential resistance at 1.1276 okay so again certainly resistance Okay, so again, Euro USD certainly coming into resistance here. You can see here. Uh, so again, that certainly will help the uh, European equity markets once the Euro certainly puts in a potential top. You'll certainly see a potential rebound, or we should one would expect a potential rebound, especially given the fact that the US dollar now is coming into uh, resistance as well. So certainly bear that in mind. Now you have the USD JPY. If I bring this chart up for you, certainly give you an insight here. The daily chart certainly into gap fill support. So we are looking at potential US dollar strength here. Okay, so again, in terms of uh, European uh, uh, indices, let's bring up the actual uh, technical picture now. German DAX certainly reacting here, uh, certainly closing that potential gap that was uh, ex uh, certainly existed around the 1.12, or should we say 12660 zone. So that gap certainly has closed, failed to hold on to previous resistance equal support. We are now into diagonal trend line support, we're into 200 MA support as well, and therefore you are looking for a potential bounce on the DAX. Uh, again, like I said, DAX certainly hurt by the uh, ongoing concerns with regards to US and German trade and also being hurt due to the fact that uh, you have the Euro USD 
certainly moving higher on the back of a weaker dollar. Now, given the fact that USD JPY is into support, US dollar is into support as well. Generally speaking, if I bring up the uh, chart, the dollar index, you can see here we have this falling contracting time wedge daily chart as well into that gap fill support, horizontal support, and we are looking for a potential bounce on the US dollar. Okay, now in terms of the in terms of the uh, uh, German DAX again, let's move back to the uh, German DAX, okay, 60 minute chart, certainly is in support here, looking for a bounce, 10 minute chart, like I said, coming into gap fill support, and therefore looking for a bounce, now we do have double bottom support on the 10 minute chart, uh, you have unfilled gap above, horizontal resistance here, previous support equals resistance here, so so far today, German DAX certainly behaving from a technical perspective, uh, you do have this uh, potential uh, bearish channel, just bear that in mind, okay, we're certainly looking to break out of that, and again, looking for a thrust back up to that 12780 potential gap fill at 12880 uh, level. So certainly keep an eye out for that. Okay, and bear in mind the German DAX on the weekly chart certainly still remains bullish. We're still in the breakout territory. Okay, and we're still into new highs. Okay, in terms of the, let's just bring up the uh, French CAC here for you, give you an insight. Uh, although having said that, the actual volume today on the sell side certainly was weak. So again, something certainly to consider as well. If that volume had increased, I certainly would have conviction in the selling as well. Also, given the fact that the, the Nasdaq certainly remains afloat, remains bullish, again, that certainly is something to uh, consider as well. In terms of the, uh, the actual uh, French CAC, let's just bring up the French CAC here for you. Daily chart at present, you have the French CAC into horizontal support here now around the 5260 zone. Okay, you have that unfilled gap below to that 5050, so bear that in mind. 60 minute chart at the moment on the uh, the CAC, uh, you have horizontal support in this zone around the 5260, again support further down at 5240, and you are looking for a potential bounce on the French CAC. 10 minute chart on the French CAC at the moment, again, it certainly seems like we're looking for a potential reversal here now, unfilled gap above at 5310, so watch out above. Also, with regards to uh, the PMI data out in France, certainly was the exception. It certainly came in on the stronger side. FTSE 100 certainly has built a base at the 7505, so looking to potentially bounce now, especially given the fact that oil prices are based at 47. There is a possibility for a HNS formation. You have this left shoulder, head, okay, and then now looking to potentially put in a right shoulder for the uh, for the actual uh, HNS formation. So again, we could still pop up to 7550, 7560, 7570. And uh, so keep an eye out for that as well, okay, in terms of the next potential move. Okay, now, uh, the uh, for Euro stocks, last but not least, again, uh, Euro stocks failed, certainly uh, is uh, certainly acting very weak here. We are into horizontal support at 3540, and then you have support at 3530. So you do have the unfilled gap that's been left behind, so bear in mind with regards to that. Uh, again, from my perspective, it certainly seems that we've based, and we are now looking to potentially target the gap at 3580 above. So certainly looking for a move higher here. Okay, I think that's a good summation really of European equities for now. Okay, please be sure uh, to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.